Hello, I am Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look to a new AI CLI and uh, VS Code extension tool that uh, it's different than the other ones that are out there. So lately everyone has started developing uh, tools for this uh, AI and some of them are good, others are bad. This one, from my point of view, it's pretty good. And a very important thing is the fact that it will allow you to code with uh, AI for free. So basically this is f the first tool that I know that it's using ads to let you code with AI. So basically to take advantage of this uh, free AI, they will display you some ads in the CLI tool or in the extension for VS Code. And this tool, it's the AMP code. So basically this is their website, ampcode.com. And I have an account in here. And you can install it, as I told you, for the CLI. So basically you just run these commands in here and you have various options to install it. And uh, you can install it in the VS Code also. And yeah, basically this is their website. And uh, this tool is offering a free option. And another option is to charge your account with credit. So basically you are going to pay based on what you are using. You don't have any subscription. You are just uh, charging your account with credits and you can uh, go and start using uh, the tool, the smart uh, option, the free one, you can use it without credits, but you need to enable the training. So basically to be able to use the free option, they will gonna go and uh, train based on your repo. So yeah, depends on how you are seeing things. It can be good or it can be bad. But for me, again, I'm not using this for complicated project. This is for hobby project. And yeah, I like uh, when I get something for free. And yeah, I mean, this is the interface in here. You see that you have the options to add the users to your uh, workspace. You have the leaderboard in here. You see the codes and things like that. I just uh, started testing this for a couple of days. I mean, yesterday the free options has just been added, but I have an account with them for I don't know, more than one month, I think. If you're checking in here, you see that, yeah, it's quite old. And in here you have various options. For instance, you have the threads. So basically when you're, when you're submitting something, you will have also in here the threads. So you see that these uh, threads are from uh, 16 days ago when I've created some agents MD file for my project. And for instance, yesterday, what I did, let's go. I've asked him with not with the free options to create the some articles for me on my blog. This is the article for the new Hesner VPS plans. They are written with these tools. I've tried also to do that with the factory AI and I think the AMP code did a better job with the smart uh, thing than the factory AI one and the article cost me about 50 cents. So it was worth it. It was uh, yeah, it was different. And again in here, let's see the threads. Okay, threads again. Today I've uh, kick-started with my prompt. Coding test, okay, this one. So first uh, with the free, um, with the AMP free, with the free models in here, I've asked him to create the agents for me. So basically you have a command in the CLI. And then what? I did, I asked him to create the solar panel website for me. Let's see where this it is. Okay. This is the agent file created. And in here, I told it for this project that I have a tail in CSS4 and I wanted him to create a solar panel website that I am creating all the time. I just wanted to see how this is working and how it's doing. And it does a pretty good job with this free option and it created all the components for us. We're going to see the CLI and everything. And right now let's go and check first the CLI. So yeah, I guess this is the CLI and to start it, let, let me quit this. You just go and run IMP like this in here. And in here you will see that you have this nice interface. It's looking very good and it's different from what I'm seeing with factory AI CLI because this is clickable. So you can change the model like this. This is the free, this is the smart one. Smart one, it will gonna use whatever uh, 
they think it's better. They have also an Oracle option in here when you provide more advanced things, they're gonna use the cloud, the cloud. They're not gonna use cloud, we're gonna use the GPT-5 codex with high for advanced things. And in here, for instance, if you're going to see the slash commands, you can um, go and tell it to generate an agent file like this. You can compact this. You can have the editor help permission. You can continue with existing thread. We're gonna do that. You can create a message, share. You have uh, settings, you have the agent files to connect an ID, quit mod. This is the mod, it's with free on the smart. And yeah, I mean, you can create agents uh, in here easily if you want to, to do different things. And for instance, if you're going to open, let's say, you can even op open the browser in here. But first, let's go and check the... Continue. And in here, we're going to check the create compressive agent thing. And in here, we're going just to go and check uh, the details that I've sent. So in here, he created the agent MD file for us. And then I have asked him to create the, let's see where it is. Okay. It created the agent file for us. And then I asked him to create the website for me. Like this. And the good thing for it this here is the fact that you can also click in it. So you have these options to click in here which is pretty nice because I'm not like a Vim lover. I like to use my mouse. And yeah, I mean, in here it started working with everything. And I think in two minutes, it's created everything for us. The website and it had a nice to-do list in the right side. And in here, for instance, if you want to see the code, you have also this option. So you can click in here. And in here you have all the files that have been modified and uh, the numbers of uh, lines that have been uh, modified. I didn't delete it. So you can go and revert all if you don't like it and so on. So again, this is quite nice because it's, uh, it's offering you the possibility to code uh, with mouse also and click things, <laughs> which I like. And in here, for instance, if you go and do browser. It will open this session automatically in the browser for you. So you can also check it in here. So yeah, I mean, this is the CLI. I mean, it's just a small demonstration that uh, I'm doing it here. You can go and install it and use it for free. It, it will not be any problem. And then you have the ID thing. And let's see. So I've installed the ID in here. You see that uh, you have the AMP one. And let's go in extension. This is AMP. AMP, it's the name, it's like this, it's for source graph. And then again, if you're going to see here, you have the smart and free. So you can toggle between these things. So basically this is the free, we're going to run it uh, something to see how it's working also in the ID in here, because we're going to check the site and maybe you will have some problems. And in here it link. it is linked with my website. And yeah, I guess in here you have some details, API keys, MCP servers, you can add. And yeah, I mean, you can add the same in the, in the CLI, AMP CLI. You can add MCP servers if you want. Again, the free options, maybe it's limited to Parno, not allowing you to use everything you want. But yeah, I mean, you can add the MCP servers right now. This is quite new. So that's why I didn't edit anything. Advanced, okay. Let me close this. This is the new treat. If you want to create it again, you need to be careful because most of the times it's moving with smart from what I'm seeing. And right now what I will gonna do, I will open the terminal and we are going to run the npm run dev and we're going to test it to see if it can um, help us modify something in this project with this uh, extension. And again, in here, I forgot to tell you, I guess you have like the options to add things right around. Okay, then that's about it. Again, I didn't use this tool uh, for a long time, but I wanted to present you because I think it's uh, nice. and. Uh, the LLMs in here are uh, 
doing a very good job. And uh, yeah, I think this it's smarter than what factory AI it's having right now. I mean, not the free, but the smart option from my uh, limited test. I've seen that uh, it looks to do a better job. The only problem with it is the fact that you need to use credits, which it can add up. It uh, can take a lot of credit from you. And again, in here, let's go and uh, check the website in here. So this is what the free AI managed to do. So this is the solar panel website. So in here you see that SVGs are not that good. In here you have something with, uh, I mean, a decent design. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's functional and it's looking, uh, yeah, I mean, decent. And in here you see that you have the buttons that are not that uh, okay. We're trying, we're gonna go and uh, use the free options and we're gonna tell them that the buttons from the, this section are not okay. Then you have the about in here. Okay. Again, it's looking nice services. These are some nice ones. Yeah, I mean, it's not something crazy, but it's it's free. So you can use different things for free in here. This looks pretty good in here. So you see that the header looks okay, footer again looks okay. Again, these are free models. So the I will gonna tell this that the home page it's uh, having the bottom buttons only wait let's go and open the vs code one and what i'm gonna do i will just tell it uh, like this i'm not gonna reference the file although maybe it will have been better but let's see how the free option is doing so the buttons on the home page under why with no text fix that okay free let's go okay and in here you see that right now an ad started popping up okay and speak with us directly match okay thinking again in here you can see that it's thinking and I think it identified the correct component. Hopefully. Let's see. Okay. So in here you see that you have also the context. So this, uh, it's having like a context of 2024K. Right now it is only like this. And it shows you the agent file. And it's very nice that you have all of these things. And again, let's go and see if it managed to fix the problem. So. It fixed the problem problem for us. The other thing that we're gonna do, I will tell you to modify the footer uh, here with 2025 because I want to show you uh, also how this uh, it's working. And we're gonna open a new, let's say like this new. Okay, again, I'm here, I am using the free option. So. Let's see, basically, if I am in the right place in here. So I am in the right place. Okay, smart, you, you see again in here, it started to work with smart. Let's go with free. And in here, modify the footer here to be 1025. Like this, and again in here, you will see the, you will see the ad. And right now it goes and uh, tries to implement what I'm doing. Again, in here you'll see the context like this. And right now it tries to identify the details. It found the details. Okay, Ghosty tries to use the microphone. I think it shouldn't. <laughs> okay, but again, you see in here like this it's working, you'll have an ad displayed in here, which I think it's pretty good because like this, maybe you will be able to find out new things. And uh, let's go and uh, see. So if you click this, you're gonna be 
redirect it to the ad. Okay. Axios and right now you see in here the files that uh, have been changed. Only one file, only one row. Let's go and see if the year changed. Okay. The year it indeed changed. Again, this is a small thing that I've asked him to, to do. I just wanted to show you how this is working. For complex things, I guess you will gonna need still the smart option to be enabled. But yeah, you need to add money. I'm curious to see if this uh, plan, it will work. Also the free one and the one with the credits. Because, yeah, I mean, with Cloud Code and the other things, the developers right now are not liking worm paying and they want to have something included in that plan. So that's why I'm curious to see how this is working. So right now let's go and uh, again open the browser like this to see the session. And here again you're going to see what was changed easily. And yeah, in here you have the EMP. In, in here you have the installation options. Just wanted to see. In here you have the leatherboard. Right now I'm the only one in this. And what else? Okay, in here you have the billing details and in here you have the profile. You can share conversation if you want and things like that. And yeah, I mean, it has like a nice uh, UI and uh, being uh, free, I think it's a good uh, thing. And uh, yeah, because they will bring a lot of de developers that don't like to pay for these AI things, including myself. I am uh, searching for the cheap assumptions out there. Of course, I am not having any SaaS that products producing a lot of money. I'm just making uh, YouTube videos. I have a couple of smart projects, but again, I like free things. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And in case you like what you have seen, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, in case you have something to add or ask, you can drop a comment in there. I've also created an article with all of these details and with the installation and uh, what they're offering. This is more complex. And I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.